Okay, so I'm going to uh, show you some new tools and features that I've started to add to the uh, Structural Draws tool plugin, uh, namely for generating and exchanging structural information. There's some curves here in the document that represent the center lines of some of the structural sections we wish to add to our Rhino document. And uh, if you open up the Structural Draws dialog box, um, you'll see that it now has a, a ability to store a catalog of sections that you wish to add or use within your, your model in the Rhino file. So you can use the pull-down menus to select the standard uh, catalog sections um, as per previously, and you can, of course, manually add uh, these sections to the Rhino file. Or, yeah, as I said, you store them in the table here which then enables you to use these structural sections within the Rhino document. By clicking on this button, you can then select the center lines or, or curves that you wish to apply the structural section to, and the plugin will then extrude or sweep the cross-section shape along that line to or curve to give you the 3D element that you wish to add. So the curves don't necessarily need to be straight. It will sweep around uh, any, any curve. And this uh, way of in modeling the structure is parametric um, in that if you wish to update the section, you can. You can also rename or give meaningful titles to the sections in your database. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is show the parametric uh, change. So if we actually decide that circular hollow section is uh, a little big and we wish to try and see how something smaller looks, we can use the little spanner tool here on the section to... Uh, alter or update the profile we wish that that section to have and then the plugin redraws any center lines or curves that that section has been applied to. Now the center lines can be derived in many ways. Grasshopper is becoming very more and more popular for generating or drawing these types of uh, models so I'm going to use show a small example here of uh, a mini gherkin diagrid structure which I've uh, used in, in previous YouTube ca screen captures. So the model is actually being generated here in the in the grasshopper file. Um, bring it into view, uh, which means then that we can parametrically change the appearance or the arrangement that we wish to test here in our structure. So the sliders here control the number of levels or the number of diagrids that are shown at each um, for the, the the schemes or the arrangements we wish to look at or test. I'm going to move it into something reasonably coarse uh, so the, the the actual structure application doesn't take too long on this small netbook computer. So I can bake my curves into the Rhino file and uh, and so then I have the center lines that I can apply my structural section to. Uh, and then I can come back into the Rhino document and, uh, and then apply the structural sections that I wish to have uh, representing the 3D arrangement of this structure. So I'll add some circular hollow sections here to the top elements in this di in this uh, gherkin and I'm going to apply the uh, UC column section to the bottom. This takes a little bit longer to render uh, just because of the fillets and things on the, uh, the cross-section shape. But Okay, now if we zoom in, you'll see the 3D extrusions have been applied to those center lines of the uh, of the diagrid. And once again, if we wish to change or try, try a different shape or a different size, the plugin will update all those sections. Now we might want to use this data to do some structural assessments of it, so I'm also going to show some new tools that I've been working on for generating the centerline topology and applying the cross-section shapes and things like that into a structural analysis model um, for this example GSA. So this table of properties we can uh, use to add into our document. Okay, so if we run the command SSI generate elements from curves and, and from curves and points, then we can select the center lines of our doc of our structure and let the command run. You can specify default properties or default groups and also the tolerance for connectivity that your nodes uh, that might have. So if it's a sort of sketch without coincident endpoints, the plugin or the tool will, will look to try and merge those endpoints. Once this has uh, generated the structure, once again it would be much quicker on a desktop computer in your design office. You can uh, then go into your GSA model and paste in the data into the gateway 
and then you have your structural analysis model ready to add loads, restraints, etc. for doing the structural assessment. Now we might also want to grab the cross-section data from our section catalog in the in the Rhino file and update our section catalog here in GSA. So you can use that button to copy the data to the clipboard, paste it into the uh, model file, and then if we draw it and show the extruded shapes, you can see those cross-section shapes have been updated and applied to the model created. So you can download this file and try it for yourself. Um, look forward to comments and suggestions as this tool evolves.